Hail and well met, my good fellow. Lionel greets you most heartily. Ah, Clara spoke of you. Lionel, you say? Richard. The very right. same, and in a position of privilege for which he is most grateful. A privilege that he would be most Richard, happy to share dinner? with the consortium. Do you want salmon, might prove steak tacos, mutual uh, benefit. lasagna, or meatballs and yeah, meatballs. Mm, I don't know. What do you want? I don't know. I don't know. I'm okay with whatever. Uh, salmon then? Sure. Oh, a fellow man with an eye for profit, I see. What privilege have you brought me today? A worldly fellow such as yourself has doubtless heard rumors of Hyzant's clandestine research projects, yes? Indeed I have. Developing weapons of devastating power, unlocking the secrets of eternal life. What if Lionel were to tell you that Hyzant has in fact created an elixir that offers everlasting youth? I would be intrigued, and then I'd ask you, how you could possibly know such a thing. It's a simple matter of logic. Think. Why would Hyzant hide the existence of so wondrous a panacea? Hmm. I suppose they'd want to keep such power to them and theirs. Just so. The only thing kings and nobles covet more than salt is life itself. <laughs> My lord is no exception. What are you saying? That those you serve have procured this miracle drug? Lionel has found himself welcome within nobility's most inner circles, he is proud to say, and privy to their secret conversations. He also finds himself in possession of a certain medicine, a medicine he would be happy to part with a share of for the right price. A price I'd be more than willing to pay for such an incredible elixir. Do tell me, what exactly does it do? What doesn't it do? Its imbiber is blessed with unyielding vigor, unflagging stamina, and unmitigated vitality. Demand has proven so overwhelming that Lionel cannot hope to deliver the goods all on his own. He would be willing to share his profits with the right partner, however. If you've won the noble's trust, then I see no reason to hesitate in helping you take some of their coin. Very well. Let me see the goods. <laughs> that makes ten who put their lust for coin before their capacity for reason. This is almost too easy. With a few rumors and a respected name at his disposal, Lionel could sell these gullible fools their own shoes. <laughs> They're welcome to help themselves to this purgative. And if one or two of them is remarkably long-lived, then all the better for Lionel. And are you content to make your fortune on the backs of fools? Oh, you! How long have you been there? Since the morning, on Benedict's orders. Hmm. Your overseer is too kind. However, you may return and inform him that Lionel needs no protection. His work to bring fortune to House Walfort requires the utmost concentration, and the presence of others can prove an unnecessary distraction.
I apologize for the wait, Master Anna. Enough with the Master. How many times must I say this? But thank you. You can put it down there. Hmm. What is it? Thank you, Master, for taking me in. I hope I can be of use to you. What's brought this on? I was useless to my previous master, and less than useless to my master before that. But I... I want to be useful, in whatever small way I can. You had a different master before that merchant? Yes. My creator. I tried so hard to be helpful. So very, very hard. But I was so very bad at following orders. The last thing I remember is my master calling me a failure. When I came to awareness again, I was hawking wares with the merchant. So you were thrown away. And what sort of person was your first master? You remind me of her. Even the way you speak seems similar, somehow. But when I try to recall, I, 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 What's going on? Settle down! Now! All functions return to standard operating parameters. It appears the merchant got the better end of this deal. I apologize. I wish I could be of more use. General, it appears an army of Byzantian soldiers has arrived at Castle Wolfort. No doubt they've come to take Whiteholm from us. Oh no. Whatever will we do? It looks like they didn't take kindly to Brother's schemes. Aflora, dispatch an army at once. There is no need. It is best we await them here. No matter how great an army they possess, they will not fell this stronghold easily. All we need to do is buy time. Once they realize what the Archduke is planning, they will tremble in fear. That will put S. Frost in the same position as it was during the Salt Iron War, which, need I remind you, we lost. Things are different than they were 30 years ago. They have no just cause for their actions. You understand, don't you, Your Majesty? I do. I am the Queen of Glenbrook now. An attack on the capital constitutes treason toward the crown and their kingdom. The people will not support someone without a cause. Without their backing, Wolford cannot hope to win. I refuse to acknowledge that pitiful little puppet as queen. As do I. She disgusts me. Personal emotions have no place on the battlefield. I cannot entrust anything to such fools. And the Archduke shall know of it. Aflora! The nerve of that woman. So the battle against House Wolford begins. Minister Saranoa, Minister Kamsel and I have brought as many soldiers as we could. 
Thank you for bringing reinforcements. It was you who moved them. There has not been an army this great in Hyzant for 30 years. The Salt Iron War also brought friends and foes together like this. We may have won then, but we had best not get cocky. Of course. Which is why? Minister Exam gave me a brief overview of the plan. Indeed. Let it... Another war as big as the last. Let us reconfirm our strategy. Benedict, if you would. Our target, Whiteholm Castle, was built upon a sandbar in the Norzelia River. The city, sprawled upon the riverbank, is connected to the castle by a single bridge. The river and town are the greatest obstacles to invading armies. I am well aware. I cannot believe my ears when I heard of Esfrost's invasion. We used the new mining venture to take us by surprise. However, the Esfrosti army has solidified its defenses. They will likely spread their forces in front of the bridge. It is the only path of entry. Geographically speaking, it would be impenetrable. But we shall use that geography to our advantage. The surrounding river was originally prone to floods. But the kings of old spent years improving the river and created a dam upstream to control its water levels. We plan to explode that dam using your Elfric. And create a deluge to cleanse the city of Esfrosty soldiers. Indeed. It is a plan they can neither predict nor defend against. Their entire army will be swept away. The people will not let you get away with that. There was once a residence along the riverside for nobles and wealthy merchants. However, it is now occupied by as frosty aristocrats and officers. That should mitigate Glenbrook's casualties. But there will doubtlessly be deaths. Not to mention the lake is the kingdom's source of water, or so I hear. The price of victory will be the people's deep-seated hatred. Ugh. I know, but I'm willing to assume any grudge they would bear. Your resolve has been duly noted. I shall lend you my strength. On your signal, we shall enter the city and evacuate as many citizens as we can. You are a kind man, Minister Kamso. But this would incur quite a debt of gratitude. Allow me to lend a hand as well. Thank you. Milo, the Blast Crystal is capable of destroying the dam, yes? Undoubtedly. Excellent. Then our strategy is settled. First, you two must put pressure on the capital. I wish for you to draw the attention of the Esfrosti army. We shall head to Tellior and set the blast crystal. It will explode tomorrow at daybreak. Very well. May the fortunes of war favor us. Hyzant and Wolfram begin to put their strategies into action. To draw the eye of the Esfrosti forces, the Hyzantian army encircles the crown city of Glenbrook. Meanwhile, Serenoa and the others quietly make their way up the Norzelia River toward Telion, Elfric in tow. Though aware of the risks, they hope exploding the dam will flood the city below and rid it of the Esfrosti forces within. Should take a longer nap. It's up to you, man. As he went, are you gonna take a nap at all? There are as frosty soldiers here. 
but sure not, not many. Go to the camp now before we go to talk. Oh. I don't know, maybe I might lie down before we leave. Of course. The lake is a precious water reservoir for the kingdom. Indeed. Which is why House Tellior sealed themselves up here. So now we wait until nightfall to set the blast crystal. Before that, there are two things we must do. The first is to find a place for it. And the second is to disable the street lamps. You mean those posts? At night, the lamps draw on the power of rocks called Lumistone to glow. We must remove them. Then we'll split up into two teams. Benedict and Milo, I leave the lake to you. I shall take care of the street lamps. Very well. Anna, Lord Serenoa's disguise. It is ready. To think the young lord capable of such a thing. He is a curious man, isn't he? No, he isn't.
Constable Sikris reporting for duty. Ask Frost to send me to help patrol the area. Welcome, Constable. If you don't mind my asking, what brings an officer to this lake? I can't say for sure. I'm merely obeying orders. He's the Constable. We can't let him see us. That doesn't mean they are keen to our plan. Stick to the strategy. It doesn't make any sense. Why were you demoted to Borderland Patrol? Exposing Svarog was a praiseworthy feat. Calm yourself. The Archduke decided so because of that very feat. What do you mean? Think about it. Svarog is a guarded man. Perhaps because I'm always sniffing about. But if the Archduke were to remove me from the capital, you mean the Archduke is trying to throw Svarog off his guard? It is mere speculation. I cannot be sure what the Archduke is thinking. More importantly, protecting this area is an important job. We must dedicate ourselves to our mission. The plan is unchanged. We will steal up to the dam and set the blast crystal. What if we're seen? We cannot risk the capital knowing. Witnesses must be exterminated immediately. I'm going to take a nap. Understood. Okay. Milo, we leave the crystal in your care. Very well. Let's go. We must get there before the sun rises. A dangerous mission in the dark. How thrilling.
Understood. I'll give it a try. We must occupy the watchtower if we are to destroy the dam. I'd hate to be caught in the act. How do you suggest we slip by unseen? Avoid the street lamps. If they see us, they'll surround us where we stand. Sneaking around in the shadows it is. To the watchtower, everyone. I shall try my level best. All for victory. My duty shall be done. Okay. Whatever it takes. Here I come. Focus. From where shall we strike? shall prevail. My duty shall I be done. I shall try my level best. For the greater good. Who goes there? Just the wind. I'll try my best.
Forward march! I shan't hold back. All by my design. Forward! <laughs> now what to do? You won't know up from down. I'll give it my best. Time to take flight. Shall we begin? I will crush you! I shall try my level best. I thought I saw a shadow. My duty shall be done. Whatever it takes. I'll try my best. Might be useful. Come get me. Forward. I'll give it my best. On my honor as the Dawn Spear. With a single blow! The hunt is on. So it falls to me. <laughs> now what to do? Cool heads shall prevail. I will crush you! There is no mercy on the battlefield. This is our chance. Splendid. My knowledge grows deeper. Whatever it takes. Is it my turn? Ha! My duty shall Your be orders. done. So it comes to battle. Defeat is not an option. Time to take flight. I shall protect you. With a single blow! Yes! I'll do my utmost. <laughs> now what to do?
night. The land seems to be at peace. Shall we begin? Make the most of it. My growth is plain to see. So it falls to me. Flee while you have the chance. <laughs> this was bound to happen. I shall try my level best. This is our chance. Well done. Someone there? Here goes. Ha! I feel like I've gotten stronger. Time to work. My duty shall be done. When it comes to battle. I'll show you what I can do. Defeat is not an option. For the greater good. Here I come. Prepare to face the Dawn Spear. Look carefully. <laughs> now, what to do? Shall we begin? Make the most of this. This is wonderful. My duty shall be done. Face me if you dare. Is it my turn? We can do this! I shall try my level best. This should do. I appreciate it. So it comes to battle. For the honor of House Wolfort. My duty shall be done. Time to take flight. I shall protect you. With a single blow! Cool heads shall prevail. Ah! 
Victory goes to the quick. Might be useful. Let's play. Shall be done. Count on me. I shall try my level best. This is our chance. This is something. So it comes to battle. If I can just get over there. Defeat is not an option. The hunt is on. My duty shall be done. I shan't hold back. All by my design. I'll try my best. Shall we begin? Victory goes to the quick. You are kind to me. Choices. Choices. I'll do my utmost. Get me. Face me if you dare. Misfortune has brought you to me. My duty shall be done. There is no mercy on the battlefield. This is our death. Yes, do. I'll give it my best. Forward. Time to take flight. I'll try my best. Good. I shall protect you. My duty shall be done. Let's play. Cool heads shall prevail. Make the most of it. Your judgment is sound. My turn. It's time. I'll show you what I can do. There is no mercy on the battlefield. Here I come.
forward. My duty shall be done. For the greater good. Here goes. Let's play. Prepare to face the Dawn Spear. Time to work. Cool heads shall prevail. Victory goes to the foot. Ooh, very nice. My duty shall be done. I see a path to victory. This should do. I must remain calm. Just get over there. There's more yet to learn. Flee while you have the chance. This battle is ours. From where shall we strike? Count on me. Shall we dance? I'll try my best. My duty shall be done. On my honor as the dawn speed. Time to work. Shall we begin? I see a path to victory. My duty shall be done. For the greater good. Time to take flight. I will crush you. So it comes to battle. For the honor of House Wolfort. Shall we dance? Uh... I found an intruder! Over here! The alarm. Intruders! Tighten our defenses! Clear mind. Be gone. Time to work. I shan't hold back.
My duty shall be done. Got your red hand. <laughs> you seem like an honest man. I will thoroughly enjoy laying you down. <laughs> you shameless woman. I'll do my utmost. Hero. I shall do what I can. Be at ease. I appreciate it. Let us pry out their weakness. Oh, just for you. Here I come. The saddle is on. You're open. My turn. doing things. For the honor of House Wolford. You're from House Wolford, no? What are you doing here? You'll see soon. Now get out of my way, or I'll have to cut you down. My duty shall be done. Oh, no! I'll punish you. My turn. Let us pry out their weakness. This must work. Cool heads shall prevail. Start the fight anew. I must keep a clear mind. Not an option. I will end this. I will end this. It's for life. That took longer than I anticipated. The sun is about to rise. Milo, is the crystal ready? 
Please don't rush me. This little one is very delicate. Good little Elfric, just be patient. Your time is coming. And your first cry shall herald my victory. It's ready. I've said it just as you asked. Then let's make haste. Purple flames have risen by the lake. The deluge is coming. Just as we planned. Who knew House Wolfort kept such a bold strategist in their midst? They truly are terrifying. <laughs> but we shan't lose to them. Now, to the capital. Did you see that thing up on the mountain this morning? It was shining something fierce. It looked like a purple light of some sort. Hey, do you feel that rumbling? Yeah, and it's getting stronger too. Ah! It's the Hysantian army! Subjects of Glenbrook, a flood is coming. The city will soon be submerged. You must leave here at once. A flood? The dam is broken. We came here to warn you. This rumbling you feel should be proof enough. If you value your life, you must flee the city now. The dam broke? Then this rumbling is from the water. We have to go, now. Run! A flood is coming. Byzantian hounds. Such a petty trick will not work on me. Ha <laughs> ha! General Evlora, you stay right where you are. No. Do they speak true? Triggered by the Elfric explosion sweeps away half of the Asfosti forces in the capital. The remaining soldiers panic and retreat, and just like that, the battle is over. House Wolfort returns from the lake to a devastated city. won a sounder victory than I could have expected. And the Crown City escaped relatively unscathed. A most happy outcome indeed. You make it sound anything but. Is this not what you dreamed of achieving? Your pardon, my lord, your highness. But our fight is far from over. Yes, right you are. We'll need to work hard towards the Crown City's recovery. Some good news there. Minister Kamsel is looking after the refugees. 
for which we are most grateful. Why? It's but a proactive measure to prepare for when this war is over. I see. Oh, and General Avlora was swept up in the flooding. I doubt she survived. What? I assume that devastated look is because you wanted to be the one to kill her yourself. Of course I did! That woman took everything from me. Take that anger and hatred and refocus it into reclaiming Whiteholm Castle. The soldiers we captured told us Thallus and Erica are still in command there. Along with the Queen of Glenbrook herself. Or Delia. Then let us make for the castle. With haste. What is happening? Why is the Norzelia River flooding? Where is Avlora? She was swept up in the floods, along with many of our soldiers. No one has seen her since. The enemy is taking advantage and laying siege to the castle. Ugh, that useless woman is never around when we need her. Fine. I will take command. Gather our remaining forces. This would be easy if that damn cannon were finished. Well, perhaps it would be if you hadn't killed Dragan so thoughtlessly. He was an explosives expert. We ought to have captured him instead, forced him to tell us all he knew. That was... I only did as Gustadolf ordered. But if our enemy's goal is to reclaim Glenbrook, then we still have something to use against them. The sole remaining survivor of the royal family, you mean? What if the damage is to the city? Let me speak with General of Laura. I can't. She was swept up in the floods. What? No! Our enemy's doing, no doubt. Come, we are going to battle. We've use for you yet, Cordelia. Unless you intend to run like your coward of a brother. Does abandoning castle and country run in your family? No. Queens do not flee. <laughs>